Welcome back to Lioness I so Talk Show. Yes, guys, ladies, I told you I got you. I got you because today the guest I have, he's not only handsome, he's tall. So you know how, how that goes, yeah? And he has a nice body. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Prince Osman. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I see you look like you. You have a lot of money. <laughs> Um, uh, I think I've just planned myself. You planned yourself. Yeah. You have arranged yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. First of all, I just gotta say that I love your controversy because I think you're very controversial. <laughs> well, your, 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 your story, Joe. Let us just start. Uh, let us uh, start with um, what's trending right now. What is making people uh, wonder is like, yo, dude, how rich are you? Because <laughs> You gave somebody four million. Like, whoa, uh huh. Uh, like last time, the way I said, like, uh, money is nothing. Money, mm. money is paper. Money is paper. Yeah. Yeah. And when you love someone, mm. I think money cannot be a problem to give to someone. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Maybe now uh, you can just run us down between you and Manzi Wambombasa. It was a romantic relationship, right? Yeah, it was a romantic relationship, uh -huh. but it was more virtual. Virtual. Yeah. How did it start? How did it start? Because each and every couple, they always have like a genesis story, right? So how did you guys meet? And how did it get to the part where you're sending her so much money? <laughs> so the, the story comes from, I was visiting here. Mm -hmm. I was doing some business in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So we met at uh, Jomo Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. So after we met on Jomo Kenyatta, she helped me on knowing some things about airport. In okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she was so kind mm -hmm. and we exchanged numbers. Mm -hmm. Then from there, we start the ship. Okay. Yeah. So you got, you are going back to Australia that yes, time? Yes, I was doing that. Okay, all righty. So that now you guys just started having a virtual relationship with each other and then things grew hot and heavy. Now, what is the point when she, where she started asking you for money? Like, what was the first thing? <laughs> I'm really curious. So after, yeah. after one year, mm -hmm. uh, she started with some story of uh, a journey to her music. Mm -hmm. She also do music. Okay. And a, a journey for... Con uh, he, she had some things she was doing. Mm -hmm. It was about, uh, let's say, it's a, like a content. Okay. But it was more dramatic mm -hmm. with ladies. Mm -hmm. Because most of ladies, mm -hmm. or most of the fans, mm -hmm. know her as um, she's a lesbian. Okay. Most of people know her as. Oh, okay. Lesbian. Yeah. But it was a content until when I find out it mm. was not a content. Okay. But it was funding. All yeah. Of that. All of those stories. All of those trips, uh -huh. I was the one finding you. So you were sugar dadding her. <laughs> you were sugar. No, it's okay. You were sugar dadding her, yeah. Yeah, I was just pumping her <laughs> life up. Yo, so um, you were okay. You had heard rumors that she's a lesbian. Yeah, okay. I saw some videos. But I knew it was just a content. Okay, okay, yeah. all right. Because I don't think, I think when a woman is lesbian, <laughs> that's a direct red flag for yeah. you not to come because you're not her type, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. So now, um, how, okay, how did it now progress for you to reach this amount of money? And did you guys, was she supposed to pay you back? Did you have a payment plan? Ama, this was just in gift mode. For me, it was a gift mode mm -hmm. until she announced that uh, she can give the money back. Okay. You see. But for me, I didn't want the money back. But because she announced mm -hmm. she can give it back, mm -hmm. it's cool. Yeah. yeah. Payback. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so you were in love with her? Yeah, I was so in love with her because mm -hmm. uh, you cannot spend more than a million to someone who you're not interested with of course yes all right and, and where were you where was this going were you gonna come back to kenya to be together or was she gonna come and join you in australia so i was coming here to to take her to australia okay until when um, i found out she's with a lady mm -hmm. in uh, one of the airbnbs mm -hmm. 
and uh, I go there with my part of my security guys mm -hmm. and some of my friends and we found everything in the open place. Okay. Yeah. So she had she had wiped away your, your she had forgeared you or what, what happened? Like what? Uh, so uh, we go to uh, the story was she was, she was seeing some lady. There was a lady they were dating. So she is lesbian. She is lesbian. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. But now for, I understand. <laughs> okay, okay. But for the story of on her side to me, mm -hmm. she was straight. Okay, okay. So she was hiding the other side of lesbian. Maybe she was bisexual. I don't know. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, but yeah, you it's know, possible. If you're a straight nigger, mm. how is it all right that one? Okay, yeah. yeah. So I went there, I found her with a lady. Mm -hmm. It was crazy, mm -hmm. the drama, mm -hmm. and I walked away. Oh, wow, wow. How did it make you feel? Because some guys would find that hot. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> For yeah? me, I think I don't like to share. Oh, you're selfish <laughs> in love. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, love to one person, mm. it's a thing of uh, one time. Okay. So you cannot share a thing of one time. Oh, you're an emotional guy. No. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. Yo, so yeah. So now after you realize that she's actually not straight, what was the next thing you did? What transpired after that? So I walk away. I try to figure out what is going on. I look for her. The next day, she was not where to be seen. Mm -hmm. The place where she told me, I'll go on a car. Mm -hmm. I went there to visit, there was no one. Mm -hmm. So I tried it to talk to other bloggers. Mm -hmm. And the last minute, I found her. Okay. Yeah, and she came as she was talking very bad. Okay. Uh, in front of the camera. But uh, deep down, she was like, why are you bringing this story to a camera? Like, why are you bringing this story to public? Mm. But I was like, there's a lot of men like me mm -hmm. who are foreign. Mm -hmm. They are investing to people. Yeah. And story goes sideways, you see. Yes. So I was trying like to, to help other men mm. who are doing the same thing and they found out stories different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I think I think it's also very important to first of all get to know somebody before you decide to invest in that person. Because I feel like blindly investing in somebody you have no idea, somebody you've just met. But you know love once. Is crazy. It's crazy, but you need to take care of your pockets, bro. You know, that was kind of, kind of, Okay, you really did risk a lot. Because for me, I feel like, I, me I'm talking about, I don't ask, I'm not sure, sure, mama, you know? Yeah. So, okay, now, at that point where you were going to the blogs and you were talking, were you doing it because you were hurt? Am I, you were doing it because you did you do it out of the pain she caused you, or did you do it to actually help other people? I want to get that straight because sometimes heartbreaks motivate us to do other things. Yeah. So sometimes when you are like your heart broken, it can give you like it can raise you or it can kill you. Mm. So for me, I think that was the only way because I didn't want to be violent. Yes. So. It, it was the only way for me to express the pain I I was going through that yeah. time, you see. So I decided, like, let this be a lesson to other guys, mm. you see. Mm. So that uh, maybe there's someone who is doing the same thing, mm. the same mistake I'm doing, mm -hmm. or I done. Yeah. So let me give that person a good opening light yes. on whatever is happening. You enlighten there. them. Yeah. Yeah. And has she paid you back the money? So that is where the drama has come. Okay, okay. <laughs> and that's why I, uh, I was quiet. Uh, by, uh, I was quiet a little because of uh, the process we go through. She was like, uh, I'm going to give you the money back. Mm -hmm. So let's the story go down. Let's yeah, let it, it die off. Yeah. yeah. But it's past some months right now. Mm -hmm. She has not given my money back. Okay. Uh, she's not talking to me. She's not talking to you. Yeah. So you were played again. I was played another part. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, when will you learn? When will you learn, man? Say, <laughs> yo. So, um, have you taken other measures of maybe reporting her or or maybe trying to get some legal advice or anything like that? You know, mostly when you are. You are a foreigner, mm. and um, things like that. That one happened. 
and you don't have any agreement, mm -hmm. you cannot go anywhere to work. Yes, yes. You know, if I give you money and we agree you are going to give back, then we have the agreement. So yes. I can go on the government, whatever. Yeah. But if I give you out of love, I have no proof that uh, the money I give to you, the... Yeah, there's no formal agreement. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, do you know where she lives? I mean, do you know where she comes from? Because, I mean, if you were to look for her, would you know where to find her? You know, I have part of my, my people from my team. Mm -hmm. They're still looking for her. And uh, I think she's with uh, Judy. You know Judy, the Manzuameru. No. There's a girl, uh, she called Manzuameru. Uh, I think they were together. They are friends. Mm. So I think if I get the one of them, I can find. Yeah. yeah. Or you want to use her friends to track her down. I'm not using, I'm yeah. just tracking her down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's understandable. Yes. And a lot of people might think maybe you're cloud chasing or maybe you two are trying to make uh, a fool out of everybody. But what can you tell people who think like that or what can you tell them? First of all, I have many, many people uh, inboxing me, like well, they are like, we know you, mm -hmm. we know you from somewhere, mm -hmm. we do this and this, the other one who are saying this is fake. Mm. So simple as the way I told people last time, if you have that time of talking something like that, mm. it means you don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> and because I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> Booyah! Because Ouch! I'm a, good, uh, I'm a good person, I have a, a kind heart. Mm. I told everyone who is talking negativity on my comments mm. or my inbox, mm. please, we can just create something, I come and give you something, you keep quiet because the problem is money. Okay, so yeah. what do you do for a living? How are you making so much money? So mostly um, I work and my job is kind of private. Okay. Yeah. There's things I deal, but it's illegal. <laughs> okay. But we, we respect your confidentiality. You mean we can, you know, you don't have to tell us anything. Yeah. 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 So uh, I just work. I'm hard working. Yes. I push a lot of things uh, that are in Akuja on my way. Okay. Yeah, so I, I think that is the main way of me making money. Yeah. yeah. So, um, <laughs> you know, this one was coming, right? Yeah. So, now that a lot of ladies know that you can, you have the possibility of giving so much money, a, a, a lot of ladies coming to your inboxes and just saying, yo, bro, invest in me, man. I can be better. I'm straight. I have everything you want. Yo, uh-huh. So that is, yes, mm. it happens. Okay. I get a lot of requests from ladies. Uh, most of them, even men. Mm -hmm. I get requests from men. Like... I think we are so, I, I cannot mention it, but we are so dumb, like mm. we are too much into money mm. until we don't value our genders. Yes. You see, mm. for someone to be, to be gay, me, I don't have a problem with. Yes. Or lesbianism. Yeah. That is you. Yeah. But see where you approach. Yeah. You see, this guy is into ladies. Read the room. Yeah. Yeah. Play cool. Yeah. But sir, sometimes I get even requests from men. Yeah. And they are nasty. Ooh. More than lady. Hey. <laughs> really? <laughs> Somebody educate me. What yeah. kind of nastiness is this, <laughs> eh? Yeah, well, we'll take tips. We'll take tips. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I understand. So how do you feel about Manziwa Mombasa? Like, are you still in love with her? Do you hate her? Do you, do you ever see a possibility in the future, you guys being friends again? Or do you just want her to pay you and get the F out of your life? Uh, for now, I think the main thing I want with Manziwa Mombasa mm. is for, like, let's, let's, let's clear the... The whatever it's the air. Yeah. yeah. Let's make the room empty. Yeah. We see what we can do. You still see a future with her? Or you want a future with her? I don't mind to give someone second chances. Uh, it looks like you did and she ignored <laughs> you. This is like the third chance. This is... Yeah, third strike, bro. Third strike, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, yeah. Okay, she, maybe she, she has some reasons, maybe... She's planning herself to do some things. Mm. Uh, so you can never judge someone. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. Can never judge. And uh, I think Mimi, I love to 
I love someone who is playing hard to get. Okay, you like the chase? Yes. Okay, so who's been keeping you warm as you're waiting for Manziwa Mombasa to come around? My blankets <laughs> and blankets. <laughs> blankets and blankets. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So what would you tell a man out there who is maybe currently financing a chick he doesn't know anything about, maybe planning a future with somebody they have never even spent 10 minutes together or even an hour together, people who are living in this fantasy world of, um, okay, I'm going to be with this person, but I don't even know where they come from, their home, their parents, anything. People are blindly spending on women who they have no idea about. What can you tell them? Uh, so the... You can you know the I think the main thing you can tell someone mm. it's to play rule Okay. Because love is blind. Love is blind. Love is crazy. I cannot tell like, hey, you know what? Don't date someone uh, who's showing you some uh, freaky freaky mm. manner. You see, mm. and that is what in a kufanya una feel like. Ah, this is love. No. Yeah. So the most thing I can do if you have money. Mm and you can give 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 yeah if you have money and you can plan for it and not giving it away keep it it's yours like yeah. decision it's you yeah yeah so me i cannot give anyone any decision to make mm. because i think no one is perfect no one is perfect yeah but i i feel like you should enlighten them like this is what to expect sometimes you, 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 you think you're with somebody, but you're the one who's out of the box. You get, there are people who already have families, they have children, they have, you know, and somehow, even they have a husband, and you're the key financer, and you don't even know that. You're the one who's paying their rent, their bills, everything. I mean, come on, you need to advise a brother there at least. You might save somebody a few coins, but it goes a long way. Yeah, it's tough. Mm. It's tough to give uh, something and who see, receive the same thing. Yes. So it's tough. And uh, if you have a good place where you can invest, mm. invest on it. Yeah. But, uh, for ladies, I'm not into, I'm not against ladies. Yeah. But ladies are very funny. <laughs> funny, funny creature. Elaborate that for <laughs> us, please. They are very funny creature because uh, they want what you, you, don't, you don't have. Yes. They always want something that you don't have. Yes. If you have money, Maybe you don't know how to, to treat her with that money. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't have money, maybe you know how to treat her. You don't have capital. Yes. So ladies who are Angalia, the negativity side of you. Of the men? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, I don't know whether I should be offended or just say, wow, let me go with really. Yeah. So um, it's okay. It's okay. And... Um, so what is the next thing? What are you planning to do about Manzwa Mombasa? I mean, what, what's the next step now for you? So uh, Apart from looking for her, what other strategies do you have for getting back your money? So um, I'm looking forward first to meet, to meet Manzwa Mombasa. Mm -hmm. um, I think you have connection. I think you can bring her maybe... I, I can try. I can ask my team to look for her. I feel like uh, every side has two, two, two story, stories. Yeah. And I feel like I would love to hear her story too. You know, sometimes, man, hmm. <laughs> mm, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, I'd, love to, I, I'd, lo I'd love to look for her because I'd love to hear how this whole conundrum you guys have, how, you know, how, how, what's her side of the story. Yes. So, um, maybe you can just say, uh, maybe, you, so do you have any strategies to to get my money back. Yes. Yeah, um, for now, I'm working with some lawyers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's something big is coming mm. on my way to get my money back mm. because I think the money, um, I can give an even orphanage, some orphanage. Mm. I can just sponsor. Donate some. it. Yeah, because I give a wrong person. Yeah, you uh, give the wrong person the money. Good capital, yeah. Yeah, so if you are, if she's watching right now, what would you tell Manziwa Mombasa? <laughs> She know me. Uh -huh. uh, she know I'm not uh, someone who is so violent. Uh -huh. And she know that uh, the man is not must, but uh, I just need a respect. And I you want respect? Yeah, I need a respect. You hear him, girl? <laughs> mm -hmm. I need a respect and uh, I need her to understand, like, uh, don't do this to everyone. Yeah. And some people, they don't tolerate. Yes. Yeah. So, you don't want to tell her she did you dirty? Because it kind of sounds like she did. Okay, she, she play her game. Yes. That is her game. Yeah. So I don't know how she's feeling right now. 
I don't know how she maybe she's shining somewhere. Mhm. Yeah, uh, but uh it was a bad game. And how long how, how long did you guys know each other for? How long did the virtual relationship how long did it take? 5 years. 5 years. So yes. in a span of 5 years you gave her 4 million. Yeah. Wow, bro. Sawa. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay, man. You know I say I say sometimes it's good to invest in somebody you love, but just invest wisely yeah any last words you want to give out to shout out to anybody who's watching out here men say hi to anybody say hi to your lawyers your bodyguard whatever <laughs> yeah man that's for you shout out uh hmm, i have many people yeah i sound lawyer okay <laughs> so um i have my friends i have uh -huh. uh, my team yeah i have people around me okay first of all uh the first person who is very close to me right now mm. She's called uh, Maya Manicure. Mm -hmm. uh, so Maya Manicure, she's doing manicures. Mm -hmm. and I will take you. I'll take you. You see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So she's good on that one. She do. Uh, I'm a major on a Russia manicure. Okay. Yeah. I love. I have another friend of mine. Um, is a DJ mm -hmm. called DJ Ney. Mm -hmm. Big up to Sana, bro. Mm. Uh, she. Mm -hmm. He always there like a brother. To yeah. Me. Yeah. Yeah. The rest are friends. Okay, uh, okay. And would you be comfortable giving out your social media handles or do you want to keep that confidential? No, I can give. Okay, go ahead. But for now, I can give them just one. Which one? Uh, TikTok. TikTok, okay. Yeah. yeah, you can just go to TikTok and search uh, Prince Osman 003. Yeah, 003. Yeah. Uh, wow, man. I mean, I, um, I don't know what to tell you because if I lost that kind, that kind of money on somebody and, and hey, hey. He's taking it easy on you. Hey, I, you know, like it, it, it's such a surprising thing that there are men like him in this world who can, you know, invest that kind of money in a woman. But anyway, all is well. Is there anything else we have left out? No, I think uh, the main thing, uh, Semato, thank you for the show. Of course. Yeah, thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to coming here. Of course. So you can do something else. Yes, I'm looking forward for you to come back here. We need to do something with him because I like his attitude. I feel like he has a lot. Um, he has a lot to offer, you know, <laughs> apart from money. Yeah, so guys, man, you go, go make sure you check out his TikTok and make sure that you guys, you follow him and you guys just show him support. Not hating, not blah, 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 blah. Nay, you see. So guys... And also give him words of encouragement. Four million is a lot of money to lose. Prince, thank you so much for coming through, man. Thank you. Too. God bless you. I hope you get back your money. Manziwa Mombasa, we want you here. Yeah, come and give us your side of the story, girl. Yeah. Anything else you want to say to her? Because oh, no. <laughs> hey, I would have words but anyway i think words has uh, come through uh, after we know if yeah, yeah. okay now to the silent treatment yeah you know. cold war yeah. okay cold war but that is really tough <laughs> you know yeah man thank you so much guys for watching lioness say so talk show man if you're out there and you have a story to tell me remember just dm me at lioness empire studios on facebook instagram TikTok, and Make sure you subscribe to our channel down here, Lioness Say So Talk Show. If you want to talk to me as an artist, you want to do a collaboration, whatever, man, just go to Sironka Lioness on Instagram and talk to me there because that's where I check most of my messages. But I'm on all social media platforms, man. For me and Prince, we say peace out. Bye. <laughs>